During a disaster or an emergency, communication is very vital. That's what we're going to be talking about on this uh, episode. Coming right up. During a disaster or an emergency, communication is vital to find out what's going on in your area. One way I like to do that is with an AM/FM radio. You can usually pick up a station in your area. This particular radio, not only does it have AM and FM, it's got your NOAA weather radio in it. It's got a couple other features. It's got a solar panel on top to keep the battery charged. It's got a flashlight built in. And it's also got a crank that you can use to charge it up with. You can also buy an accessory package for this radio, which will allow you to uh, charge your cell phone or your uh, your tablets or whatever you may have. Another radio I like is this one here, Tuxen. This is a PL360 version. They do have a couple different models of this. This one here particularly picks up AM, FM radio, but it also picks up your short wave bands. So you can find out what's going on in other countries or if something major happens in the United States and you can't get a hold of any information, you can probably pick up something from overseas and they'll be filling you in on what's going on and what happened. Now I don't see that happening in the near future, hopefully not. <clears throat> but it's there. And then we got this here. This is my H HT or walkie talkie, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in the ham community, we call it an HT handy talkie. This picks up the 2 meter and the 440 band. Also, it has the FM radio on it, so if I'm out somewhere, I listen to it whenever I go riding on my bike. I take this with me and listen to the FM radio, and it scans back and forth, so if anything happens on my ham band, uh, the repeater I normally listen to, it'll automatically switch over to that band. Uh, these radios are programmable by computer or by keypad. Uh, believe me, if you get something like this, you're going to want to get the software and the cable to uh, program it through your computer because it's so much easier. Uh, very nice radio. I've had this one for quite a while and it serves me well. Okay. And then another thing you might think about is having just a set of walkie-talkies. Now these here are both bang. Uh, 888S, I believe is the model, and these are also programmable through your computer. They cannot be programmed without the computer cable and the software. Now there's a free software called Chirp, and if you download that, the software will program these plus this. The software programs so many different brands and models of radios that, uh, it's uh, definitely worth putting into your computer and programming your radios with. What's good about having a set like this is if you had uh, just you and your family wanted to communicate, you could program these in off frequencies. Now, I'm not condoning or telling you to do these things, but you can program these with weird offsets and stuff so people can only get one side of the conversation. Uh, you could program it. Uh, with really strange frequency offsets if you wanted to and stuff. Um, in a extreme emergency situation, uh, hey, anything goes. Now, uh, you can program these for the uh, FRS and GMRS, but it's illegal to talk on them. So, the only thing these are legal for is if you have a particular frequency you're licensed to operate on or if you're a ham radio operator. But like I said, if you know what hits the fan, 
and you need something to communicate with, these are excellent. But uh, it's very crucial to have communication in an emergency. Now you might have a cell phone, but you know what? In our area, if a tornado happened to take out the local tower, it says goodbye. So I do encourage people to look into getting your ham radio license. It's a very fun hobby. There's people in it from, uh, I think I've heard of a five-year-old getting his ham license. But at a very young age, people start out getting their ham license all the way up until hundreds. Uh, I saw picture on the internet the other day of a 90, I think 98 year old lady still going at it. She's doing the, the old Morris code. So uh, ham radio is a very fun hobby. Plus it can help you in an emergency. Plus you can help out your community in an emergency situation. Um, I'll leave you with a picture of my base station. And this picture was taken a couple years ago, but it pretty much looks the same way other than the uh, one of the radios that's uh, been replaced because it went out on me. Anyway, until next e time, have a good evening and hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, click the... Yeah, I keep wanting to say the wrong side. Anyway, please click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And uh, you might click that bell too and it will tell you next time I put in a, a new video you'll be amongst the first to know. Oh yes, and I was going to tell you about what we're going to have going here. Uh, possibly starting in February, uh, we will be uh, purchasing items. You fill in down below in the comments an item uh, related to uh, living frugal or preparing or both. And uh, we are going to take suggestions. The item must be $50 or less. And we'll uh, start uh, picking up some of these items, reviewing them, making a video about it to fill you in. That way you don't have to purchase it. If you're kind of leery about something, we'll go ahead and get it. We'll uh, evaluate it. We'll demonstrate it and let you know how it goes and then if you like it you can purchase it we're not endorsing any products here i don't get paid by anybody this is just something i want to do on my own to help out the uh, living frugal and prepping community so anyway until next time have a good evening and thank you for watching